Hey guys, I'm back for some more Art for 3, and we're gonna be playing a, uh, a, uh, Maneuvers Battle. Yeah, oops, I stumbled upon, uh, I crossed the name. Yeah, uh, basically this is a recorded battle, of course, because I kind of like this battle. Yeah, I just want to share it, of course, so here we go. This is on the 40 Roads map, I really don't like this map, but it's meh. It's meh on a Maneuvers and Domination mode so yeah here we go nice 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 there it is so you know just dealing some damage here and there capturing the flags you know what you what you would expect in a in a normal uh confrontation no, not a confrontation in a maneuvers batch Okay, the assaults are shredding my riflemen, as always. Armadillos aren't really good for anti-infantry, but... Mm, at least they deal something. Okay, okay. Ooh, Vertex, nice. There's a vertex over there, okay. Nice, we got a shot on. Nice. Hold up. How how much percent is that? 25? 25%, nice. Okay, so one hawk deals 25% damage to a vertex. Okay, trying to go back and intercept, but apparently there is nothing to intercept. So I just take down the free units. So while that's attacking the coyote, I will attack the hammer. So it's a better, it's better trade off. A hammer is 130, right? Yeah, well, hammer is 130 resources. A coyote is only 70. If my math checks out, that's 60 resources. Solid right there. Mwah. Nice, good resources. And remember, I'm HQ level 4 already, so I'm just gonna go mass aviation. Of course, getting some uh, vehicles along the way. Now with uh with four hawks, I'm gonna try and dish out some damage. Ooh, we can see is getting up. So we'll deal damage and then retreat, because I don't wanna get sniped by Vertex. Okay, so I put on air raid warning just in case. Okay, I roam my hawks. Trying to see if there's anything interesting. Okay, was able to take down a typhoon. Oh, Vertex. Oh, but my Hawks ran out of fuel, so... Yeah, okay, okay, so let's see. How much HP is gone? About 30%? 33? Okay. Okay, now that's only 50% gone on two salvos. So about the same, 25%. So it takes about four jets to take down uh, an opposing jet. So, okay, okay, decent. So, got some porcupines, got some stuff out. Nice. We'll do the same thing, but with, uh, with eight hawks this time. Okay, okay. And nice. Got, got another, uh, airfield. Easy free 300 resources. Trying to intercept, that's actually a really good timing. Wasn't able to take down a single hawk though. Although that hawk is severely injured at like 10% HP remaining. I was able to technically trade off was I lost nothing. But mm, I did get hit really hard. Got hit really, really hard. Look at those beautiful clouds too. Okay, Typhoon's there. There's the Vertex. There it is. Try and snipe some. Try and snipe. No. Oh, oh got some down. Going back in. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Actually, how about this? There we go. That's better. Some Vertex are retreating. That's fine. Let's get some Typhoons. Ooh, Vertex trying to snipe again. 
Bruh, look at that anti-air, bruh. Bruh. Uh, oh, all the missiles exploded right here. That means it didn't even hit the vertex. Literally, all the missiles hit right here. And vertex are moving. They don't stay in the middle of the map. It look, literally, look at that. It was literally staying right there. It wasn't going for any further. So, like, that's kind of, that's kind of bruh. Kind of a bruh moment. Okay, we took down all the typhoons there. I expect any vertex to come. So I retreat for a bit. And I do have a full squadron of albatross right there. So I'm saving up albatross for like a surprise attack. Like, you know. Okay, getting a little bit of a bigger army. Uh, land army. And... Ooh, ooh. Okay. I lost one. My opponent lost one. But I got another good hit, though. Hmm. I'm sending riflemen one at a time, because all the vertex can't keep coming up. So as soon as one gets destroyed, another one just comes. I call, I, I I just flood the uh, the flag with riflemen. So yeah, I mean that that's it's like the best way to capture a flag when your opponent's mainly mainly aviation which is always good which is always a reason why having a good standing army is good because you can't have jets up all the time jets need to refuel okay and now i'm gonna remove my land army okay I'll, let me just zoom out okay they're dealing some good damage so we're gonna have to come in with jets to provide backup Okay, there's the jets, trying to snipe down, run into the porcupines, nice, nice, running right into the porcupines, that was exactly what my plan was, my plan was to gain map control, and to put my army in the middle of the map, so then whenever I had my hawks running around the map, when vertex tried to come, it'll get hit by my porcupines. That's the point of why I have porcupines, and I have jaguars here to prevent my porcupines from getting shot down by Zeus or hammer tanks. Uh, so yeah, that's this is basically why I have this little convoy right there. That's my entire ground army though. So if my opponent decides to strike from here, from the north, I would be destroyed. Especially if they have a lot of, a lot of typhoons. And porcupines are everywhere. Ooh, coming in for another rerun. Not a wise move, bruh. Not a wise move. Okay, nice, 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 nice. Perfect. <laughs> Going right on top of the porcupines once again. Perfect. See, look, all the missiles explode right there. It's not going any further. And as a scout, okay, HQ level 5, I only have HQ level 4, so I gotta go for 5. But 3 Avia factories producing vertex, that's a lot of vertex, let's be real. And this is a level 3 special vehicle factory, so maybe a shield, Zeus, and typhoons. Okay, I'm sending in my, my, uh, albatross, uh... Just because, like, I need to, like, I wanted to do a surprise attack, this is it. I'm gonna attack the factories. Ooh, taking heavy fire. But nice. And I sent in my hawks to help. Nice, dishing out damage. Let's go, let's go. Okay, okay. Dishing out as much damage as possible. Running into my porcupines. Nice. And there we go. Nice. Perfect. That's that's actually pretty good. <laughs> that's good. Because we, we literally took down two-thirds of my opponent's vertex production. And all my factories are running. So... They, they're at a loss. I'm not at a loss here. I even have map control. 
Of course, the Vertex comes in while I try to take down my opponent's uh, kind of army. But yeah, my Porcupines here are just helping my Hawk so much. It's so useful just having a bunch of Porcupines sitting right here. Here we fast forward, of course. Wait for the action. More bombers are coming. Nice. Okay, Vertex trying to get up. <laughs> that Vertex is not microed. So it literally just overran the uh, Albatross. Meanwhile, I'm trying to take down my opponent's army. Literally, there's no anti-air there. So my Hawks are having a fest right there. Vertex trying to come. But since I cut off my opponent's Vertex production, there's really no Vertex there. And there it is, flying right over my Porcupines. Okay, my Hawks are out of fuel. But I do have a lot of Porcupines, I gotta say. And bro, what a, what a, this is such a bad move. I have so many Jaguars here, it's it's just a suicide to send in a few. Mm, no, why? I have a whole army here, why even do that move? Okay, ooh, shot one down, but that's fine. My Hawks are coming in as a follow-up to my Albatross, trying to snipe down all of those Vertex. Nice, we're getting good, good Vertex. My Porcupine is dealing some damage as well. Nice, nice. Oh yeah. Okay, so well at this point, it's practically a good game. My entire army is basically at his doorsteps. My, my, my aerial squadrons are just raining fire. And I've been bombing him so many times. Yeah, and, and, and to top it off, my opponent is uh, destroying their own building, so it is a good game. And I did have fun. This was a pretty good game. Yeah, of course, it was a bit leisurely, of course, because, you know, I, I wasn't really that, that into it. But hey, that, it was pretty fun. And that's what counts. So good game.